Julius can talk to us too. Close. Maybe so. This is a good show. Yeah. yeah. I know. I'm not focusing just on grades. I just the kind of person she is. Testing. You can hear me all right. All right. Here we are. Welcome everyone to promotion. 2021 for our lovely fifth grade class of Miss Hedgecock. Please give them all a round of applause. <laughs> and you, you may not have guessed, but we have not been able to practice this, so we're just going to go with it, and we appreciate you all, all of you going with us. So a few uh, announcements before we get started. Slow housekeeping. Um, so um, we, you will meet your graduate on the turf after we finish. There'll be plenty of time for taking photos. There are areas in the courtyard by the Washington mural and also in the garden where you can take your mask off to take pictures. And we're hoping that we can prevail upon you to help us put away the folding chairs once we're all done. So thank you in advance for that. And I think that's about it. So we are very excited to hear from the voices of all of our students during this promotion. So without further ado, I'm going to pass the mic to Ms. Hedgecock. So because we have quite a few people who haven't been able to rehearse with us, I'm going to teach everybody what to do. Um, so what will happen is this first row here, we're going to go, Theo will go first, and then Nilani, you'll be on that stool, and then Luca, you'll be on that stool, and we'll just kind of like go around, right? Theo, you know what to do, right? Awesome. And then Frankie, you'll follow Luca. Who thinks they follow Frankie? Awesome. Who follows Julia WB? Yay, I know you know what to do. Okay, so this is a collaborative poem that our students have written. I want to remind you that when you come up, um, to make sure that you're speaking into the microphone, speak slowly, and you may also take off your mask while you're up here if you want to, so we can see your beautiful faces, I know. Okay, Theo, you want to start us off? special student at the day in Ms. Washer's class. Everyone made me feel welcomed. I was so happy that entire day. I remember the bungalows from across the street. I remember making new friends and running Daily Mile with them. I remember how fast we ran across the blacktop. and brownies to the class on Friday that we had to buy with purple tickets. I remember in fourth grade doing the gold, gold rush project. I remember in kindergarten I really liked basketball and it was my first day at school. 
Amari came and asked if I wanted to play and we became friends after that. He asked if I wanted to go on a play date and I asked my mom and she said yes and we had our first play date. I remember in first grade making origami balloons and playing with shoots that stacked up on top of each other to make marvelous marble runs. I remember in third grade playing and call with Julia A. Each Friday, five of us would get a snack from Miss Mitchell. The Chex Mix was delectable. I remember the Italian pine tree standing tall in front of in the front of the stool. I remember having the warmest, most fun, best first grade. I remember the curiosity every year about what Coach Don was going to be for Halloween. I remember in second grade the rush of my first costume change. tallest structure on the first day. I remember Ms. Schemeinder giving me biscotti for my hard work. I remember going to the Exploratorium and begging to go to the gift shop. I remember trying to build a birdhouse with my friend in the fourth grade. I remember eating ice cream in downtown Berkeley on a hot day. I remember when my mangoes got my hot Cheetos at lunch. And I remember having a fight with my best, best friend and becoming friends five minutes after. playing Sandman at the green play structure. I was holding onto the fireman pole. The metal heating from my hand sliding on it. My friends laughing and yelling. I remember having mac and cheese at lunch. Everybody happily ta talking with their classmates and friends. The mixed but delicious smells coming from all around the cafeteria. singing, watching movies, having fun, learning and doing candy in all my years here at Washington. And I'm very sad that it all has to come to an end. Aww. I remember on the hot, almost summer days, Coach Don would let us have cold, fruity popsicles. I remember on the wet, rainy days, our teacher would let us watch movies and eat popcorn.
after school with Miss Davidson because I didn't want to go home. Aww. I remember Miss Nikki giving me a chocolate donut for absolutely no reason. <laughs> I, remember, <laughs> I remember someone pulled the fire alarm during music class. I remember that I slipped on Kaferi's jacket and giving a big scrape on my right leg while I had my limping, limping left leg. Miss CR's brownies and cookies made an appearance throughout the day. Um, so I just have a few words and then I'll be handing the mic to Miss Hedgecock. So students, this is a day to celebrate you, your sheer strength and perseverance and just ability to make it through this year has been so very, very impressive. Everyone here is so full of admiration and love and just respect for everything that you have managed to do this year. We are here to celebrate you today. So I want you to take a few things with you as you leave Washington. I want you to remember what it's like to come to school and expect people to treat you kindly. You deserve that wherever you go. And I really believe that you have the tools to make a difference in the world. You are each possessed of a unique experience. No one else has ever thought the thoughts that you are thinking in your own particular way. We need each of your perspectives, your experiences, and your hopes and dreams in order to change the world for the better. We are looking forward for you to you coming back and telling us what you are doing in your lives. So please come back and visit us because remember, once a rhino, always a rhino. My last remarks are to the families. First of all, families, we could not have gotten through this last year without you, without you leaving your, stepping away from your work to help your child log into their Zoom class to figure out what Clever is and how that relates to where their Zoom link is. So we hope to never do that again, but if we do, I would like to do it with you because you have all been absolutely amazing. So thank you so much. Now, in looking at this group of well-dressed, sophisticated, attractive fifth graders, you may be thinking to yourself, well, they're so sophisticated, my job as a parent is practically done. I'm here to assure you that that is far from the truth because what your children need more than ever are your stories. Your stories of when you have struggled, when you have misjudged, when you have 
um, made mistakes and how you recovered from that and moved forward. So please continue to tell your children stories because that is how they are making sense of the world. Read stories with them and talk to them about the complexity of characters and relate that to your own lives. You are still their most powerful teachers and they have not stopped looking to you for clues on how to navigate this ever-changing, ever-complicating life. So we appreciate you and students, remember to thank your families for everything that they have done for you this year. I know you feel it in your hearts. Sometimes we just forget to say it. And without further ado, here is Ms. Hedgecock. So I have had a very hard time figuring out what to say here today at this promotion that is like no other promotion um, that I've ever experienced. Uh, I could talk a lot about Zoom, but we've all talked a lot about Zoom at this point, and so I will say this. I was a Zoom teacher. I was a Zoom parent of two teenage boys. And I was even a Zoom spouse, I suppose, as my husband's office has been on our bedroom dresser this whole entire time. And I thought that just about everything about it was really hard. And yet, I still can't really appreciate how hard it would have been to be a child navigating school over Zoom. So I wanna say thank you to all of you children and all of you adults for making it work as best you could. And I am very excited and hopeful that our relationship with Zoom is coming to an end. Even without all of the frustrations of distance learning, this year was very difficult and painful for many. For much of the planet, the pandemic is still raging. However, as I told students yesterday, one of the very nice things about being human is that over time, Many of the hardships that we endure eventually become something we survived and overcame rather than something that is currently causing us pain. I hope that will happen with the pandemic, and I think it will, but I think we would all benefit from taking some time to think and feel and recover from what we have all been through, which leads me to my recipe to what is hopefully going to be your end of pandemic summer. Number one, I really hope you will spend as much time outdoors as possible. I hope you will enjoy nature. I hope you'll get some exercise. I hope you'll appreciate being outside after so much time inside. Number two, make something. You have all proven to me from a distance and in person that you are artists. Being creative and making things with your hands can be very grounding. Your drawings, paintings, weaving, stories, and poems have been incredibly beautiful and inspiring. Number three, read. You have read so much this year. I hope you have learned that books can be your friends and that reading can be a wonderful escape. Reading daily is one of the best habits you can have. And number four, however it feels safe, reconnect with your friends and your family. Being able to hug my vaccinated mom, brothers, sisters-in-law, niece, nephews, and friends has been a highlight of my spring. We should enjoy the people we love as much as we can once we are able. To sum up, this summer, I hope you are able to do the things that make you feel happy, inspired, and alive. Finally, because, or probably because, as you know, I taught middle school for many years, I am extra excited about sixth grade for all of you, no matter where you are headed. Sometimes people think middle school is scary, but I don't think you need to worry about that at all. Most sixth graders really like middle school, and sixth grade teachers really like sixth graders. I promise there is a lot to look forward to. You will get to meet lots of new people. You will meet lots of new friends. You will have more independence and more responsibility, which I think that you are ready for. 
I encourage you to be brave and try anything that seems like it might be interesting. You might think of yourself as a sports person, but maybe you'd also like to sing. You might know that you are good at math, but you won't ever learn that you like volleyball unless you give it a try. Middle school is an adventure where you can find out so much about who you are and what you like to do and where you want to go. I know that you are ready for this next step and I hope you are excited. I am thrilled for you. It has been an honor and a joy to teach this very special class. And normally at this point, I would read all of their names and they would sit by and I would hand them a diploma and we would clap. But today, they are going to come up and introduce themselves. I have told them that today, everybody wants to see them, hear them, and be happy for them. So please feel free to give them as much love and, as and encouragement as you would like. They have each earned their moment to shine and hear your cheers. Same thing we did last time, same order. Ready? Okay, cool. Woo, go to you! Okay. Go to you! Hi, right. I appreciate Robin for playing video games with me almost every day and for being a really good friend. I'm proud of all the things I've accomplished. Learning volume and math, adding specific details in my writing, studying the Revolutionary War in history, and making collages in art. I'm looking forward to going to middle school and not having to wear a mask while playing. Hi, I'm Neilani. I appreciate everyone who's there for me when I needed it. I'm proud of myself, my family, and my friends for fighting through these difficult times. I'm looking forward to a new world and a successful future ahead of me. which like watercoloring and um, I'm looking forward to meeting new friends in middle school and going to baseball games with them. Hi, I'm Frankie. I'm 11 years old and I like baseball. I appreciate all my teachers and friends for being so nice, encouraging, and helpful. I am proud of how I've done in math, writing, and reading. I am looking forward to all of the new friends, teachers, and people I will meet in middle school. Hi, I'm Abram. I appreciate Mr. Zarate for teaching me at school in fourth grade. I'm proud of doing school with the computer because it's a lot harder than doing it in person. I'm looking forward to going to a new school and meeting new teachers and summer vacation. Hi, I'm DeAndre. I appreciate all of my teachers for motivating me to graduate, to go to sixth grade. I'm proud of myself for being able to stay up and do my work so I can graduate. I'm looking forward to have a good graduation party. Hi, I'm Nadia Skarbinski. I would like to thank all my friends and family for being supportive and caring. I am proud of hiking the Grand Canyon. It was hard and challenging, but definitely worth it. I'm looking forward to Black Pine Circle and all of the amazing clubs they have to offer there, like Maker Club. Hi. Hi, my name is Julia Warren Boyd. I want to appreciate everybody that has taught me in Washington. You all have helped me realize who I am today, so thank you. 
I am proud of myself for reaching out of my book comfort zone and finishing the 40 book challenge. I am looking forward to going to middle school and making new friends. I'm Kafiri Watson Martin. I appreciate my friends and family for being there for me all the way. I'm proud of my hard work, good grades, and getting better at my math. I'm looking forward to middle school and trying King's cooking class. Hi, I'm Robin Fruzzi. I appreciate being able to play with my friends almost every day during COVID. I'm proud of having read at least a hundred different books this year. I'm proud. Uh, and I'm looking forward to middle school and meeting new people and hopefully new friends as well. surviving Zoom school because of the worst, sitting and staring at the computer 24-7. I'm looking forward to summer vacation. Hi, I'm Camila Damasco. I appreciate Miss Paskey for always teaching us fun and interesting Ooh. lessons. I, am, I appreciate my friends for always being so fun and kind, and I am proud of my reading skills and completing more books. I think it has gotten significantly better and I am so, so, so excited for summer and vacations to places because I haven't done that in a long, long time. I'm Dominic. 
One thing I appreciate is everyone who helped shape the person I am today. I'm proud of myself because even in lockdown, I was able to push my skills past my limits. I am looking forward to starting over in middle school and making new friends. Hi, I'm Julia Allen. I appreciate all of my teachers and friends for being helpful, caring, and funny. I'm proud of myself for reading 42 books this year. Books, not book. <laughs> um, I'm looking forward to making more friends at a new school. pleasure to present to you the graduating class of Washington 2021. Oh, the garden, oh, the garden <laughs> and the courtyard, those are good photo spots. And if you have been in distance learning and I'm just having the joy of seeing you in person today, come get your yearbook from me, okay? All right, 